Hi Dollar Divas, welcome back to my channel. So I am back from my trip. We were gone about 10 days. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed some of the shorts that I've put out. I put out quite a lot. So yeah, this is my first full length video back in just a little bit. And while I was on vacation, um, I did visit three different Dollar Trees. That's where a lot of my shorts footage came from and I did manage to buy some things too. So that's why I was wanting to start off with a haul. And you'll have to excuse me, I haven't really done much makeup or anything like that. You know, just got back last night. A lot to do today, but I did want to get this video up and out for you. So it's just a little bit relaxed today. <laughs> so I had to pick up quite a few items from some Dollar Trees in Georgia. And of course, I still have some makeup that I haven't tested. I did pick up some new makeup, and so I will have at least a couple of videos coming up testing new Dollar Tree makeup, so that's always exciting. I'll have an empties video hopefully up pretty soon as well. And I am wanting to do like a chatty get ready with me to catch you up on some things since my last one. So anyways, that's where we are right now. So, so if you are new to my channel, I think I got a lot of new viewers through my shorts. So thank you for joining me on one of my full length videos. So welcome, glad to have you as a Dollar Diva. And of course, to all my returning Dollar Divas, thank you so much for coming on back. So without any further chit chat, let's just go ahead and get into today's haul. So I pretty much think everything I have is makeup. We did buy some snacks. At Dollar Tree 2, of course, those are all pretty much gone. Um, <laughs> but yeah, everything that is left is gonna be in this haul. And I do have some super, super exciting products at the end that I'm really excited about because I've been told about it and I hit the jackpot. So definitely like, definitely stay with me. You might have seen I posted a short. Y'all, I have been looking for these and I was really hoping to have them before my, or have at least one before my trip because I like to plant herbs in the spring, summer, and I'll keep them going as long as they can. So, but in particular, my rosemary plant is still out there and still alive. And I tried keeping it over the winter last year, but I went to Vegas and it kind of, I think it died because it, it no one was watering it. So I was hoping to have these before my trip, but Better late than never, I think my plant survived. Um, but either way, these will help me when I do plant my herbs. And I had been looking for them. I had seen them like last spring and didn't pick them up and have been looking for them kind of ever since. Are these, and I don't even know what they were called, but they were watering snakes. These are just, these are plastic watering snakes. So I guess the idea is you fill them up with water and then you stick them in your plant and it kind of like automatically waters your plant and I bought three. I wanted three clear but they had a purple and so I picked one of those up as well because they only had two clear. Um, I usually do, I plant mainly basil, parsley, and rosemary. So I picked up three. I was like that's probably enough. Honestly parsley like, parsley grows kind of like a weed so I usually do it but I do a lot of basil using two different plants so I might use them for my basil and then use one for rosemary. I don't know, I did pick up three. And actually what reminded me to actually look for these on my trip was we were staying in an Airbnb and had some plants. And like some big kind of like, like big plants and they had wine bottles in the plants. And I said to my husband, I said, those are meant, those are helping to water the plant because I'm sure, you know, people don't want to like come and like water their plants and they don't expect their guests to. So I was like, when we go to Dollar Tree, I need to like look for them down here. So was successful in finding them. So now let's move on to the makeup. So some exciting finds. Um, if you watched, I think it was my, I think it was my first testing. I'll link it down below, but I did a testing Dollar Tree makeup recently. It's one of the two. I had used this product that I love. I ended up loving it, but unfortunately I had hauled it like last year and I was thinking there ain't no way this is gonna like resurface. Y'all, I found in Georgia, they still have the Rimmel jelly products. So they had a highlighter, which I didn't get. They actually had a couple shades of highlighter. I didn't get them because I wasn't crazy about it, but they did have the bronzer that I loved so much. So I got another one of the jelly bronzers, y'all. I was so excited and I made a reel about it. So there is hope that this is still kind of circulating around because I really did think it was gone and I felt a little bit bad using it in my video because it had been so long ago, but found another one. So keep on the lookout if you're wanting to find some of these Rimmel like jelly products. So I will open it even though we've used it before actually because I want to see what the name of the shade is on the bottom because I was really hoping it was the same one that I had. Golden Touch, I think. Let me double check and see if that's the same shade. It is the same shade that I had. I was really, I was really hoping. They did have another shade and this seemed to be the darker one and I did look on the internet 
um, I think I was able to find this on these on Amazon and I saw that they had two shades so I knew that I had the darkest shade so I was pretty confident but yeah I was so excited to find another one of those so now I have a backup then another thing I was able to find that I hadn't been able to find in my Dollar Trees is another one of the Be Pure Clean Beauty glow foundations in nude so I use this if you remember testing new Dollar Tree makeup loved it spoiler alert <laughs> and the shade nude is like perfect for me right now and then I bought the darker shade they had as well but I wasn't able to find another one of another one in this shade here recently so I did find one in Georgia so now I have a backup of that as well and this I've this is another thing I have been tr searching in all the Dollar Trees around me for the last several months to find this product because it's really very good and one of the Dollar Trees I went to in Georgia had it and I was getting a little nervous that they like stopped making it um, but they didn't it's still out there so this is the personal care bikini shave gel for sensitive skin it's kind of it's a dupe for the bikini zone anti bumps shave gel so it it's just this like shave gel and it's just really good for the bikini area like if you get like razor burn and razor razor bumps and stuff like that and the bikini zone is just a whole lot more expensive so it's really nice to be able to get a very comparable thing really the same thing at Dollar Tree so I picked up one of those and then I bought a couple of these at CVS last year just to do my nails real quick which I have to get to my nails are terrible and I had to like it's CVS you know how CVS does like you have to sometimes you have to buy one and then buy and you have to buy two to get a deal so you know I, I do save a lot of money at CVS with my coupons and stuff like that like with the app but um but I still had to buy two and I really only wanted to buy one and you know how that goes. I just don't always want to buy two of something. Like sometimes I only want one, but if I'm going to get a deal, I'll buy more than I need or want, you know. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. But they had this at Dollar Tree, so I picked one up just like out of spite because I could buy one for $1.25. Nice neutral shade and it's different than the two that I already have, but it's the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Nail Polish. And I find just like a little, like a coat or two of this on my nails just makes them look like presentable. And it really does dry very quick. It lasts about a week without a top coat. And so yeah, I just wanted to pick another one of these up because I know these go for a whole lot more money in the drugstore. And I know I'm gonna like it and I know it's a nice nude shade. And so yeah, definitely wanted to pick one of those up for $1.25. So I'm gonna yet again try another mascara from the Dollar Tree. Um, I had a Dollar Diva tell me there was a good one, um, but I and I kept an eye out for it, but I didn't see it. But I'm gonna try this one, only because I have really enjoyed their products and it's new and I will always try. This is the Be Pure Hydrating Mascara. This is in the shade Brown, which I only need a little bit like for underneath my fake lashes, but if it happens to help a little bit too, that's always a plus. So apparently it's got hyaluronic acid. It gives your lashes a boost of hydration and volume. I ain't got much to work with anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me. But um, yeah, it comes like in this kind of a packaging. And I kind of wonder, Be Pure kind of has a tendency. My husband was like looking at the Be Pure stuff and he said, they really need to step up their packaging. And what I told him was this, their, their thing has been kind of duping things. So I kind of wonder, are they duping Thrive? I wonder. I didn't really think about it till just this moment, particu in particular with this product. But we will see. I will try yet again. So, so we'll be trying this really, really soon in a video. So one more item before I get to like the really exciting set of items that I found. So, you know, I've tried a couple of these palettes and they're really great quality. I found that they had a plumping lip gloss. So I picked it up to see if it really does plump. So it's the make, it's infused with almond oil and jojoba, jojoba seed oil. It's in Raging Rose. And so, yeah, it's this plumping lip gloss. So, so we'll be trying this out really soon as well. So I had been told about these little palettes by a Dollar Diva. So I had been on the lookout. I have not seen them in my Dollar Trees. And I found a Dollar Tree that had them. And she described it was like, kind of like diamond triangle shaped kind of, Kind of an odd shaped little palette. And so I believe these are it. This is the brand Malibu Glitz. And this is the shade 03. So I'm pretty sure, what an interesting little color story now. We'll do some swatching. But I didn't just find this one. I found, I think, all of them. <laughs> so I've got, they've got four. So I've got one, 01, 02, 03, and 04. So 01 is kind of a 
kind of a slightly neutral, but yet still interesting little palette. And we'll just have to kind of see, this is O2. This one here is a little bit more bright. Look at that. Then this is O4 and it is another bright palette. So I may just kind of like go into like this one and kind of see what the quality is like. You know, they're gonna be, it's gonna be a little hard to get in there with a brush. That was something my husband pointed out because he just knows so much about makeup from us, from me talking about it. But I'm just gonna kind of go in and just kind of see. So swatches are pretty nice. So there is a few of the shades. So I am definitely super excited to try these. I'll have to like pick, I'll have to pick an eye look and just, yeah, I won't be able to use all these in one day, of course, but we will definitely try all of them at some point. So yeah, I'm super excited to find those. Let me know if you've found those little palettes at your Dollar Tree yet, either one or all or a couple. Definitely let me know down below in the comment section. Again, I'm so glad to be back. Definitely keep an eye out for me testing all of the makeup that I've hauled that I have not tried yet in another video or two coming up here real soon. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. It helps me and my channel out so very much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.